after the PT878 flow meter has been programmed, the meter will give you a transducer spacing based on the number of traverses selected. The spacing is the distance between the transducers to be installed. Obtain the spacing and number of traverses from the PT878 before installing the equipment. Press the menu button on the keypad to bring up the menu at the top of the display screen. Use the left or right arrow keys on the keypad to highlight the program menu selection. Use the down arrow key to highlight the path option. And press the enter button on the keypad. On the path tab options display screen, you will see the number of traverses field and the spacing field. For an even number of traverses, the transducers will be mounted on the same side of the pipe. For an odd number of traverses, the transducers will be mounted on opposite sides of the pipe. The number of traverses is 4, which means you will place the transducers on the same side of the pipe, and the spacing is 4 inches, which means you will place the transducers 4 inches apart from the center of each transducer securing bolt. For the purpose of this example, we will install the transducers in a double traverse with a 4 inch spacing. The first step is to adjust the mounting fixture to the appropriate spacing. Separate the fixtures to be 4 inches apart according to the measurement scale on the fixture rail. Tighten the red screws to lock the fixtures in place. In order to ensure the best accuracy for flow measurement, you must have a turbulent flow profile. You can achieve this by having at least 10 diameters upstream and 5 diameters downstream of straight run for the transducer locations. The location of the installation should be clean, flat, and free of any debris or buildup of corrosion or pits, etc. This is to ensure a good coupling of the transducers to the material of the pipe and provide for better sound propagation of the ultrasonic signal. To install the fixtures to the pipe, wrap the mounting chains around the pipe and secure the fixtures with the securing bolts by tightening the wing nuts. Ensure that the clamping fixture is installed at the 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock position on the pipe, never at the 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock position. Tighten the wing nuts until the fixtures are secured firmly to the pipe. The flow direction of the process must be identified. For the purpose of this installation, the direction of flow is from left to right. Therefore, this location will be the upstream transducer location. And this location will be the downstream transducer location. Before installing the transducers, you must apply couplant onto the face of each transducer. Use only the recommended couplant for your specific transducers and application. Use as much couplant as you would toothpaste on a toothbrush and evenly cover the face of the transducer. For the installation, slide the transducer into the mounting fixture and ensure that the center bolt fits into the insert hole on the top of the transducer securing bracket. Make sure to orient each transducer toward each other so that the BNC connections on the other end of the transducers are facing outward. Tighten the transducer securing bolt on the fixture by hand. Then tighten the bolt further by only a quarter turn of a wrench. Tighten the locking nuts on the center bolts until they are firmly tightened to the top of the mounting fixture. Follow the same procedure for the installation of the other transducer.
With the transducers installed, you are now ready to connect your transducer cables from the PT878 to the transducers in order to start taking flow measurements.